Uh, Mark Stevens, author of Government Indicted, which you can get right here at markstevens.net. Radio shows the No State Project live every Saturday from 4 to 7 Eastern Standard Time on LRN.FM. That's the Liberty Radio Network. And I had to get another use, you know, another account here at Reddit and uh, decided to go. I thought this would be a fun exercise. It's a welcome to law, ask law enforcement where you can ask real police officers the questions you've been meaning to. Now, since it's too dangerous to ask police officers in person, as we found out last year, I do it from the safety of, of my home where the, uh, the only tool that they really have is to ban me, which, of course, they did within a day. So I had asked a basic question here. I know cops and other government employees operate under the presumption slash claim that if I'm physically in New York or wherever, then the laws of the state government apply to me and there's jurisdiction over me. Can any law enforcement officers, yeah, I shouldn't have put the apostrophe there, uh, provide any evidence to support this claim? By evidence, I mean relevant facts, not legal opinions, legal citations, and arguments. So I already set up exactly what I'm looking for. I'm looking for relevant facts that support the claim. Not further argument, not further citations, not opinion. Relevant facts. Well, things went real bad real fast, which I expected. I'm, I'm only, I only did this to demonstrate that uh, police officers are uh, only experts in using violence and using too much violence, that they, that they are part of a criminal organization uh, because we're all forced to pay them. That doesn't mean for a moment that the police officer is forcing you to pay taxes. No, he's just the one that, that will take you and put you in jail if you don't. It's the politicians that they're, t- they take their marching orders from. So... Um, there were a lot of replies real fast, and then uh, overnight, uh, you, know, I, you know, I worked during the day, of course, and, you know, I, I, I couldn't respond to all of them, but uh, when I woke, got, finally got back on there, it turned out that Bad Donut had, had me banned, and uh, because what, his, what he was saying there was that I had no intention of, I was just trying to stir the pot, I was just trying to cause contention, I had no interest in a natural discussion, but you could see right off the bat, it didn't go well. He even this guy says, uh, "I predict that this will go poorly." Yeah, because they weren't interested in an actual dialogue. But he says something really interesting here. Law is a social construct; it can't be scientifically quantified. I, I'm not asking him. I wasn't asking anyone to quantify anything. You know, like the damage in a motor vehicle accident. You quantify the damage. You 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 add up how much money is going to cost to, re- to uh, uh, repair the damage. I was scientifically quantified. Obviously, this man has no idea what the phrase scientifically quantified means. But he starts off right here a social construct. Uh, you know, laws are, writ- are, are just rules written down by politicians. Uh, there's, it's not a big mystery. Uh, we know that the Constitution, the supreme law of the land, was written by about you know, 50 some odd people. Uh, it, it's not a, it, it's, it, it, so maybe he meant is a social contract, but no, I don't think so because he's saying it can't be scientifically quantified. I think what he meant was that it wasn't scientifically provable. So just like our law professor um, that we spoke to last week, of course, Richard Diab, it is not. There is no rational basis and certainly no evidence. So neither argument nor evidence proves it. Uh, that was one of the things that the law professor, well, the ju- juris doctor, and, uh, well, no, a PhD in law and assistant law professor. And I will point out he's an assistant law professor, not an assistant to a law professor. Um, of course, all my, uh, all my comments, in fact, if you were to just go to Reddit and not be signed in, you would not even see this question. So, you know, I'll have to link, I'll put a link to this page so that you can see that. Uh, so anybody seeing this on Reddit will not see my actual question. So that's what you do. I thought it was a legitimate question. It, 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 uh, you know, hey, Robert Diab agreed. Um, and I would say he's a lot smarter than these cops. Well, he certainly has a lot more education. So um, down the memory hole it goes. But I have my copy here. And I knew that my, a lot of my stuff was going to probably get uh, deleted. Uh, so I do have some other screenshots if I need to do that. Uh, but you can see here they've downvoted my, my responses, so you kind of have to open that up. 
Uh, so I wrote, by social construct, you mean rules created and written down by men and women. I'm not asking for any to be scientifically quantified. Can't fathom why you would even ask. I'm just asking if this common claim has any rational and evidentiary support. They could have just said no, but they didn't. So he tries to divert attention away. I ask you again, can you provide an example of the type of evidence you would accept? That's just a dodge. Just tell me yes or no if you have the evidence, which I do. Uh, and that's why I mentioned it's usually just a dodge. He says, yes, I have a body of law and a system of government which have been established that say so. Again, he's presupposing that the body of law, these rules, actually apply to anybody just because someone's physically in the area. I wrote, it's not evidence, it's non-responsive, saying it applies because it's... So then he tries to divert attention away again. And of course, someone says later that I'm coming off as a dick, and these people are saying it's got to be a joke, too stupid to live, but I'm the one coming off as a, like a dick. That's because they couldn't, att- they couldn't arrest me for contempt of cop for asking those questions. Uh, I don't even know what this means. This guy needs some sniff answers. I... I I, 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 don't, I don't know. Um, this one says, I'm going to make it easy for you. No one here is going to give you the answer that you want. No, you gave the answer that I want. You just gave me the law. You just gave me citations and stuff like that. You didn't provide any evidence. I actually, that's what I was ex- accepting. So he's the one that says you come off like a real dick. I'm just asking for a responsive answer to my question. That's coming off like a dick. But to people whose precious little view of the world is being questioned... Then I can, I can, you know, then I can see why they would think I was coming off as a dick. So, uh, then this was just more of the uh, dick moves. Uh, I thought it was an inside joke. I'll agree if you, uh, I'll answer if you agree to rejoin with me. Uh, apparently, they uh, were thinking I'm some kind of sovereign citizen guy. So here, I'm the one coming off like a dick, and they're coming out with statements like that. Uh, yeah, I don't recognize humor. Good luck with that. Um, then they're making fun when I point out to Red Herring. Oh, he didn't say straw man. That's right. Uh, you people. That's right. Because they believe uh, I was worried Sovereign didn't know how to Sovereign. Yes, but I'm being a dick. Uh, can uh, You see, all through this, not a shred of evidence, because there is none. Uh, of course, they went, took the time to downvote all my... Yeah, <laughs> they downvoted all my <laughs> statements. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what they're saying here is I'm not making a claim. I'm enforcing the law as set down by the government of which you are a part. Um, yeah, you don't seem to understand that no evidence is needed to say that laws apply to you. There you go. And then we have the douche move of unless you can prove otherwise with actual law. So one, so look at that. So on one hand, we don't need evidence to, to back up our argument or a claim that the laws do apply to you, but you have to have evidence otherwise. Yeah, okay. So this is really the, 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 the foundation. You don't seem to understand that no evidence is needed to say the laws apply to you. No, I understand you don't have any evidence. I believe that you're admitting to being part of a criminal organization because you don't have a shred of evidence and you don't think you need evidence to prove that your rules apply to me or anyone else because we're physically in Arizona or New York or wherever. So uh, now he's saying, no, it's not a claim. It's an assessment of whether you are in violation of the law. Yeah, it's a claim. It's an argument. It's an opinion. You're saying I violated the law. Uh, So, uh, yeah. And here he's kind of conflating a legal opinion with a statement of fact. Uh, You may, going 50 in a, uh, going 100 into 50, that is a statement of fact. Whether you were speeding is a legal opinion because that involves whether you violated the law or not. Uh, okay, then uh, I'm not, it's not even worth going into. I'm bored, so I'll play this particular stupid game. Yes, um, if you want evidence, go break the law. See, this is a very common misunderstanding that these, uh, these, the, these predators have. You don't have to be accused of violating the law. In fact, if you go through this ridiculous thread, they, they state that the laws apply just because you're physically in New York or wherever. You don't have to be accused. The vi- the, being accused of a violation is not necessary or part of their argument that the laws apply to you. They believe they apply on nothing more than your physical location, not whether or not you are violating that particular law. So... Uh, then he states, you must be... Yeah, here's another one. I'm coming off like a dick because I'm expecting responsive answers from adults. Well, 
uh, well, from cops anyway. And so I had, well, I respond with, well, I don't use a gun in a force continuum. I just ask for evidence and don't accept non-responsive political platitudes. And people here have given you the evidence, no, political opinions and legal citations are not evidence because they presuppose that the argument is true. Oh, this is, and legal citations are the evidence. That's how law works. Magic. And then we, you see, they're just rules written down by men and women. Why do they work? Why do they apply to me just because I'm physically here? <gasps> because they said so. And, of course, we've got, a, you know, this was pretty damn fast. We have the reference to, if you don't like it, is the Somalia reference. So, sorry, legal citations are not evidence. They're argument, opinions and rules created by politicians. They are not evidence they apply to anyone. Unless you are claiming the laws apply because they say so. Is that your position? Then, of course, we have more, and I'm being a dick. Please never call 911 for help if you don't want to abide by society's rules. Society's rules that everyone seems to agree on is do no harm, which doesn't seem to apply to police officers. So I bring out something that's absolutely true. The police have no duty to protect anyone, and so everyone here is wrong, and you are correct as to what you believe because you are deluded if you think so. Oh, that is because if you... Uh, uh, well, police have... Le uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you've been doing it wrong all the time. Wait, go tell your sergeant because it's even reported on uh, protect and serve and uh, that, uh, yes, there is no duty to protect anyone. And if you were to Google that, let's see, why don't we do that? What? Let's just check this out real fast if I could type correctly. Yeah. That's right. There are hundreds, if not thousands. The police do not owe a specific duty to provide police services. There are a lot of cases based on that. Oh, DeShaney vs. County Winnebago. That's right. Uh, there's, there's quite a few of these. There's, the, uh, there's also one out of California that police have no affirmative duty to do anything. So, uh, yeah. Police have no duty to protect anyone is absolutely correct. And hey, even if we don't look at court cases like DeShaney versus uh, County Winnebago, the fact that everyone is forced to pay them negates any claim that they are protecting you. It also negates the claim that they are representatives, which these people try to, uh, they throw that out. Uh, then vote for other people there, out your representatives. No, when people put uh, uh, threaten you with violence, pay or go to jail, they are not representing you. They are stealing from you. They are criminals. Uh, then someone tries to use the legal definition. Again, it presupposes that the argument is already true. So the definition is not evidence. So that's why I tell them you're conflating legal citations with evidence. Your link does have any court possesses jurisdiction over matters only to the extent granted to it by the Constitution or legislation of the sovereignty. So it goes back to the original argument. Where is the proof the Constitution applies because I'm physically in New York or California? Okay. Uh, well, you're willing to accept anything, so have a good day. Well, I, I'm just pointing out that you have no evidence. Uh, then we have, uh, do you have any evidence that the law of the state you physically in does not apply to you? Again, that is switching the burden of proof. The evidence, and I do have the evidence because everyone is forced to pay. That's the evidence that doesn't apply. That's why I say that uh, shifting the burden. The burden of proof lies on the one making the claim. We don't make claims. We enforce the law. How do you enforce the law without actually first making a claim, an argument, or opinion that someone is violating the law that they are allegedly subject to? So this, uh, and I am the delusional one. There, sure. The, oh, and here's uh, this is the ba uh, uh, the the uh, argumentum ad baculum. The proof is all the people arrested, charged, and found guilty for breaking laws in said jurisdiction. You CSN say the laws don't apply to you all day, but you will still very much be in in a jail cell or courtroom. Yes, because just because you hurt me means that your argument is true. That is the definition of an argumentum ad baculum. What you're asking for is evidence that proves reality. Reality doesn't need to be proven. Really? How the hell do you prove I committed a crime? How do you m prove that I killed someone if you don't have to prove reality? This is, a, it, it, this is such a ridiculous statement, but this is the mentality. This is the, the level of delusion that these men have. This confirmation bias, whatever your, your word, you know, 
we're, we're talking about. So, uh, yes, the reality is you commit a crime in a given jurisdiction, you are subject to that law. No. Uh, the reality is, you ha uh, the logic of the situation is you have to prove the laws apply first. And since you believe the laws apply to me when I'm doing nothing, saying I have to commit a crime is like also saying the law does not apply to you until you're accused of violating it or until you commit a crime. And that is absolutely ridiculous. Um Here's some sarcasm. Uh, okay, and not law enforcement, but you're essentially making assertion that laws are just a societal construct, construct. I didn't say that. The cop above did. I didn't say that. The guy from the very beginning said that, and that it ought to be based more on a societal construct, okay, like a physical law, lots of laugh, really? That's, that's I, don't, I don't get the humor. So I guess the onus is actually on you to disprove that laws are a societal construct. I didn't say that. So this, this guy... Uh, uh, then you're full of, uh, yeah, I didn't say it. You're a fellow, though the cop did. So maybe because I, you, know, you, you missed that part. Uh, here's the evidence, the, uh, the baculum, the uh, argumentum and baculum, the evidences in the handcuffs, uh, the tyranny of the majority, mate. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Turn Okay. Uh, if you are on the land that is controlled by governmental body, then that body's laws apply to you. Yeah, where's the evidence that you're saying that? I know that your argument. Where's the evidence? So my reply comes out, okay, if you don't want to abide by the laws, okay, yeah, very simple solution. Well, I don't get what he's trying to say here. Oh, get out of the state. Yeah, uh, that's blaming the victim, and that's not excusing the violence. So your argument uh, to just, is, that's not even an argument. It's just a stupid platitude. You can leave. Uh, check with the hundreds of thousands of people who have broken the law in the state where they were physically present, been ch arrested, charged, convicted, and put in prison. Uh Again, argumentum ad baculum. Where's the evidence that applied in the first place? So uh, there you have it. That's what you can expect when uh, you go to ask a law. And, and it's not even in here that they accuse me. Of, yeah, okay, obvious sovereign citizen nonsense. Uh, yeah, because uh, it's, it's really hard to miss the, the anarchy. And, and Well, I, to, truth be told, I didn't mention Mark Stevens, and I didn't say that I was an anarchist. But there's nothing in, his, nothing in the question that would lead one to believe that. But uh, we know because it's challenging their precious little view of the world where their whole life is dependent on it. They get very touchy. So they couldn't just uh, arrest me for contempt of cop or threaten or intimidate me in some other way. So these, these cops, what they did was they just, they just went and they banned me. So good job there. So I would suggest that just know that if you go onto Reddit and you ask a police officer in this particular subreddit, ask law enforcement, uh, they will downvote you pretty damn hard and ruin, I guess, your comment karma. So uh, I guess that has some effect on your other comments and things that you post. So keep that in mind. But... Uh, I would, uh, yeah, I encourage you, uh, go, go, go to Reddit. So if you're not signed up, get an account and, and, and ask the same question. Uh, yeah, I can copy and paste this in for you, but now nah, you probably shouldn't do that, but you want to change that. But uh, I even told him when I, I went to this bad donut guy, no, you guys did exactly what I thought you would do. I'm just demonstrating the lack of integrity, the lack of professionalism, and of course, the lack of evidence that you have to support your foundational claims. So um, good job on that. Not, not, uh, it was not, uh, it was not a surprise. It was not a surprise. And so, the, oh, okay, yeah, here's the, the guy that was saying that law is a social contract, that, that the guy down below was saying uh, it was my claim, not my claim. So, obviously, these guys don't do a good job of reading. So, but what else can you expect from these guys? Anyway, my name is Mark Stevens. This is MarkStevens.net. If you think I'm wrong on this and you don't think it's an argumentum ad baculum that uh, evidence proving the laws apply are the people in prison, I wonder how that worked out for the first person who went to prison. I guess they had to falsely imprison somebody in order to prove that the laws actually did apply to people. There, there's some sound logic there. But you're always welcome to call into the, a live broadcast of the No State Project or contact me at MarkStevens.net or just post a video with your impressive evidence or your logic showing it's not not an argumentum ad baculum. And uh, I'd love to, yeah, I'd, I'd love to have someone live on the air uh, do that. Again, uh, we're live every Saturday from 4 to 7 Eastern Standard Time on lrn.fm and uh, the website, markstevens.net.